Hey there, this is Jeff Loomis. We are going to do a little lesson right now from an older Nevermore song called Born. And this is the chorus section of the song. And we are going to be utilizing some alternate picking techniques. And I'm going to show you how it's played. I'll start by playing the riff slow and then we'll speed it up a little bit. Here we go. <laughs> Another thing to note is that I'm actually using this part of my hand to mute out most of the notes. So it gives it kind of more of a mechanical kind of feel. And uh, this is it again, sped up just a little bit. And up to speed. Um, when I first wrote this riff, actually, it wasn't even that arpeggio riff. It was just actually the, the rhythm. So it was more like this. It was just like... And I remember Worrell saying, it's, it's really cool and catchy, but it kind of needs something extra. So what I did was I just kind of followed the chord pattern and kind of made a busy section, really, so to speak, on top with arpeggios that kind of filled it in. So with the first chord, I remember it's kind of funny because I actually started with a diminished arpeggio. And I remember Andy Sneep saying, why don't you change that to like a major? I think it would sound a lot better. And so that's exactly what I did. I made it sound. Like that. And basically I'm just following every single chord within the chorus. So A. F. D. And then E. Back to the root A. And that's how Born was born. Thanks for watching, and all the sounds that you heard today are from Tone Forge Jeff Loomis. The links for the tabs and the sounds are in the description.